I did such a good job with my office. Oh my gosh. I did such a good job. That was a storage room. I made it into a freaking sublime office. So now I've got to take it apart. <laughs> Six months after I built it. Ah. This is also the very first piece of furniture that's been taken down. So it's starting to really hit that it's um, time to farewell. It's a little, it hurts a little bit. I'm gonna vomit. Saturday is the move out date. That's two days away from now. <sighs> I just got news. Oh, I feel a bit sick. Here we go. goodness I just had a serious crying session because leaving I, I don't know what it was it's just all these emotions came up like it's happening and I'm it's a mix of so excited I'm so excited it's happening like I, I'm I'm a brand new chapter of my life is starting a brand new chapter of my life is starting and there's just a lot of emotions and I wasn't sure what to do with them and I just cried spoke to my friend I'm good, I'm good. Now I'm feeling like, okay, I've got this, I've got this. Wow, moving countries yet again. <laughs> to the other side of the world now, right in time for summer. Appropriate, because it's getting light at 8.30 a.m. and getting dark at 6 p.m. in Iceland right now, and I am going into summer, baby. <laughs> that was the last breakfast I'll ever cook in this house. I'm having a really good time <laughs> with this whole thing. I think the sadness has really left the building. There's a lot of acceptance for what's going on. <laughs> Usually when people say they're moving countries and it wasn't really their choice. I don't know if people are that excited and eager, but I don't know, something just feels so right about this. And I already feel like the universe is rewarding me because everything seems to be falling into place. It's like the universe has been trying to get me to do this and make this move for such a long time. So yeah, I feel, I feel overjoyed. The house is a complete disaster. I like it. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, the whole place is empty. Talk about losing your sex appeal in three seconds flat. Sorry buddy, you're not an alien anymore. That sucks. <laughs> Just a normal car. <laughs> The car is ready for sale. I have removed Alien from the equation. He's still mine <laughs> for a lot more years, but it feels so nice. I forgot how joyful it feels to actually remove possessions from your life and how much lighter I already feel. Everybody needs to do this every now and again. I feel so good. Light. You don't realize how heavy this stuff is and how much it owns you until you start get getting rid of it. Back to minimalist Sorel, <laughs> thank god. I've hired a van, I am on my way one hour to Grimsness, where my summer house is currently selling. I'm just going out, this will be the last time I hopefully see this summer house. Hopefully I will never lay eyes on it again. <laughs> and the reason I'm going, one, to farewell it, I guess, because it most likely will be the very last time I see it. So exciting. And to pick up the notorious, <laughs> the one and only green couch. <laughs> this couch is gonna live on with me forever. If you know the story of the green couch, you know how funny this is. It's the most expensive pet couch ever. I made a spur of the moment decision to buy this couch. And it has kind of haunted me a little bit since then, and now it's gonna continue haunting me in Australia. I had the chance to sell it, and funny enough, I decided no. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I was gonna sell it for the same price that I bought it, but I just decided no. We're sticking together. <laughs> We're sticking for life. This 
people there actually right now that are looking to buy it. Imagine if they were like, yeah, we'll buy it. <laughs> I was waiting for months for the summer house to sell because that means I would have transferred the money into my apartment and I would have kept it. But I decided, nope. <laughs> Imagine if someone was like, yeah, I'm ready to buy. <laughs> you can have the money next week. <laughs> I've let go of that idea though. I've really fully let go of Iceland. So even if that happened, no. <laughs> It'd be crazy if that happened though. before this whole entire space will be completely empty and a brand new chapter will begin. <laughs> yes, it's 1 a.m. I just booked my flight out of Iceland. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm leaving. Oh my God, and everything's working out so perfectly. Three of my neighbors in the same apartment block are moving out. That's three out of five at the exact same time. Like literally the same day. Go figure. <laughs> mm. I'm not sad, which is, I can't believe it. I'm just not sad. <laughs> I really thought it'd be part of me. I would feel that. I just <laughs> really don't. <laughs> I think I really forgot that I really enjoy drastically changing my life a lot. It's so fun. It's so fun. You have distinct chapters that are like, this is this chapter, this is this chapter, this is this chapter. I wonder if this is just gonna keep happening to me forever. <laughs> my toxic trait is just changing life drastically every few years, but I love it. It just keeps life so interesting to me. And I know not everybody <laughs> relates to this at all, but I, find it fascinating that you can have a completely different life just by making a sim single decision. I was gonna say simple, but it's not. A single decision, say, to live in another country. I have had insane adventures happen because I chose to live in Iceland. Like I, I could not even begin to write a book with everything that's happened to me since I left Australia. And the same thing is about to happen. I have not lived in the area that I'm going to live in since I was 16, 17, white. And I never really liked it. I never really enjoyed it. I, I was like, oh, can't wait to get out of here. It's one of the coolest areas in the world. It's so awesome. I get to experience Australia with gratitude. That's what's happening. Before I was like, oh, it's just Australia. Now, I cannot believe I'm one of those insanely lucky people that get to call Australia home. <laughs> It is an honor, it is a privilege to be Australian and I am going to wholeheartedly experience Australia again. And I properly, it is such a common thing for Australians to leave their country and travel everywhere but Australia. And now I am de dedicating everything to exploring Australia, exploring this beautiful vast land. It's enormous, there's so much to see and I haven't seen it. I don't know anything about Australia. It's embarrassing, but I'm excited. All my favorite activities happen in Australia surfing, freediving, eating organic, fresh vegetables and fruits. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself that I made this decision to leave. I'm kind of like annoyed that it took me so long to make this decision, but sometimes it really does it. Like the lead up is so stressful. Ooh, you make the decision and everything just kind of flows a lot easier. It's, <sighs> and I will say, I don't know if I ever act 
actively wanted to choose to live in Iceland. Literally, now that I'm packing up all of this, just, I'm like, Sorel, Iceland? Are you for real? And I tried living in a city and it's not fun. <laughs> it's just like, you don't come to Iceland for Reykjavik. And I tried living in nature, too isolating. There's just so few things about Iceland that feel right for me. And it's amazing that I gave it such a long, solid crack, but I, I kind of accidentally moved here and I need to choose actively where I'm gonna live next time and I am. <laughs> All right. Well, last evening, I have nowhere to sleep. I have a pillow. Yeah, I'll probably sleep here tonight. Like what a story. I slept on my floor of my apartment. Going out to dinner with my friends. Some of them, I didn't tell a lot of them. If you're watching this and you're like, hey, why didn't you tell me that I was leaving? I'm really sorry. <laughs> There's just a lot going on and it's all happening fast and I don't like goodbyes. And it's not that I don't like you. I don't appreciate you. I just need to get out. I'm not gonna be my best showing out for you. I'm sorry that I just left so suddenly without saying anything. I had to prioritize my mental health and this, this is it. So it doesn't mean that I love you less though. Bye. to thank the sponsor of today's video which is squarespace an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online let's talk about the amazing features of squarespace online store sell your products on an online store whether you sell physical digital or service products squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online appointments accept appointments on your squarespace website offer online or in-person private sessions workshops and group classes they provide everything you need to manage your schedule accept secure payments send automatic reminders beautifully showcase your services and more fluid engine with fluid engine a next generation website design system from squarespace it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity Start with the best-in-class website template and customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop or mobile. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.